After our last video, we had a lot of comments and questions about the fact that we used single pane glass in our clear story. And I tried to explain in my answers that what we're going for is a passive solar gain, which means a heat transfer from the sun coming through the window. Now, right now we're in our solar shed and what you're looking at is an inexpensive, non-low E double paned glass window. And as you can see, the sun is coming right through the glass. And if I go up to this glass and I touch it, it's cold. There's absolutely no heat transfer at all through that glass. And what we're going for is a heat transfer so that in the winter time, when the sun is low in the sky, it'll come in through that single pane glass and allow for heat transfer. In the summertime, the sun will be high in the sky and the three foot overhang will shade those glass uh, windows in the clear story almost 100% of the time. So anyway, I hope that answers a lot of the questions or concerns people had. Now, again, this whole house is an experiment and the ability to install a second pane of glass, which would then have a one and a half inch air gap between the two panes is possible at any time. But again, we're gonna wait for a full year and see how this clear story works. Because in theory, it should work with a single pane. If it doesn't, we'll modify it. Good morning. Glazing of the clear story, day two. Gotta get some frames painted, then I can get some glass set. I'm really hoping to get this done before Yvonne gets back tomorrow night. And if that's the case, I gotta do at least eight windows a day. But since I have nothing else to do today, I should be able to get it done. I'm doing my best to cut in as neatly as possible to avoid as much touch up as possible. Also, we have some touch up areas to do where the spray foam came through and I'll have to get up there and scrape it out and hit that with some paint too. But first things first. Not even nine o'clock in the morning yet and the wind is already picking up. It's probably 15 to 20 miles an hour right now. And I just heard on the radio that are calling for gusts up to 38 miles an hour today. This wind sure slows you down if you're up on scaffolding. I've got a total of 10 panes of glass installed completely and the wind is really kicking up but I got to keep going so I got to paint another five frames and see if I can get five more panes of glass installed today. Just for the record it's 10 o'clock and check out the shadow. So we're halfway down the wall and this is the middle or the end of April. So by the time June rolls around, we'll be in good shape. I achieved my goal and I got 10 panes installed today. Of course, I needed 11 pieces of glass to do it. You know, this was a quest for me trying to make it too perfect. That's what happens. Anyways, one piece of glass down, I can live with it. Five more to go tomorrow, but first I got to find another piece of glass. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to check Benson and see if there's anywhere in Benson where I can get a piece of glass. There's got to be somebody who cuts glass. We'll find out if Ace Hardware does it. Morning, guys. It's Tuesday, about uh, 7.30 a.m. We just got back from our walk, and it's time to get these windows up in the clear story finished. It, we're expected, expecting some rain today, about a 40% chance of rain. So while the sun is shining, I want to get it done. The wind is low and temperatures are cool. 
So perfect weather. Let's get this finished up. Yvonne's coming home tonight, and I, my goal is to get it all done, get the house cleaned up and ready to go because she comes in at 8.30 this evening. Just finished up the last five window frames from the outside. I got two coats on it just in time because look at the reflection in the window and you can see that the clouds are beginning to build. So I'm going to get inside, get these window panes installed. Oh, I wish I could say I was done, but I'm not. As you can see, one pane of glass is missing. And I went into Ace Hardware yesterday and tried to order it and they had glass. And when I called them up, I asked them uh, how much it would cost for a piece of the size that I need. And the guy said, $6.78. And I questioned him. I said, is that eighth inch glass? He said, yeah. Well, I went in and it was not one eighth inch glass. It was a single strength glass that was not going to have the same thickness as the other 19 pieces. So I passed on it. So I placed the order with the same glass company in Tucson. And it's, unfortunately, it's going to be a couple of days. These two by sixes are probably going to be exposed. So I really don't want to see this. So what I did was I took some one by six and I put a 45 on both sides. And I'm just going to secure it right here. It'll make a nice decorative touch. I already see that because this has a square edge and this has an eased edge, if I just put it up there like that, it's gonna be, it's gonna hang over. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna just rip this down so that it sits right here on the inside of the bevel. I was able to rip that down on my 12 inch sliding miter saw. Much better. Trimming out the windows, it takes time, but it can be very satisfying when the miters work out nicely. So yesterday I went along and marked the location of outlet switches and things like that. And I also constructed this little privacy wall. Our toilet is going to get installed behind it. Now, according to code, we need a 36 inch width space and we have 38 inches. That'll uh, that'll account for the sheetrock on this short wall and the cobbing on the wall. And again, we're not being, we're having no inspections. It's just that uh, I want to make sure it's not too tight. On this side is where the vanity is going to be located. So we'll have lower receptacles, upper receptacles. I, I put in some blocking up here for a, an overhead light. And then in this corner right here is going to be our shower. And where I'm standing, I should say, let me show you. Right there on the other side of this little privacy wall. So on this side of the privacy wall is going to be the toilet. And this is going to be the location for our washing machine. And we'll have a receptacle, an electrical plug here, and a washer a washer box will be installed right here for the connections. And the drain, of course, will go through the, the 2x6 sill plate. I'm going to see if I can climb down this ladder while I'm holding this camera. I'm going to take you outside let you see what the glazed clear story looks like during the daylight.
Got a little touch-up paint I have to do up there where I got a little sloppy around the trim, but nothing too dramatic. Came out real nice, and I think it's going to really let a lot of nice natural light in. And the best part is, as you can see, the overhang already is providing a nice amount of shade. It's about 8.30 in the morning right now. So the passive solar design is going to work well on this house, I think. So the clear story is now complete. In the next episode, we'll be installing our French doors. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.